Today we're looking at Hex Cells Infinite. This is the third iteration of Hex Cells. There's six levels of six in the normal gameplay mode, and then there's an infinite um, level that has n one billion different ways to go. So there in the middle is the infinite level. There's a couple new options here. There's You can choose what the two buttons you click, what they do, um, and you can also mess with the sound. So you can have just sound effects uh, or the music and the sound effects which is a new option. This is what infinite looks like. Um, you can use a random seed, the date, uh, or you can paste a number and be like, oh, I played this one, you try it, uh, and talk to your friends. But there's a billion of those options, which is the best part about the new game. So let's look at the gameplay. The gameplay, um, if you've seen Hexels Plus or Hexels, it's exactly the same. If you haven't played either of those, let me go through a couple things. This game is a lot like Minesweeper, so there's panels, these blue panels that you have to find, and you find them using logic. So uh, the numbers inside the black cells tell you how many blue panels are touching that cell. Um, if you look at numbers over a column or a diagonal, uh, those numbers tell you how many blue panels are in that column or diagonal. If you see two dashes on the outside, it means all of the blue panels are not um, adjacent to each other. If you see the parentheses around the outside, it means they are adjacent. And those same dashes and parentheses go for the same as the things that are in black panels. Um, there's also one option that was added back in Hex Cells Plus, and if you see a number inside a blue cell, then that's how many panels are inside um, a two panel wide circumference, so 18 cells around that one. So basically you use logic, um, you know, reasoning, deduction, a little bit of math to solve uh, the number of puzzles. And sometimes looking in the upper right corner of how many things are remaining is actually what helps you uh, determine what the panels are. Um, and it also keeps track of your mistakes. So in the infinite mode, the puzzles take around six or seven minutes. If you play through the regular gameplay, those puzzles, uh, as you get towards the end, can be very challenging and take uh, you know up to an hour uh, if you're having trouble with those. So now let's talk about the music and the sound. I love it. It hasn't changed at all since the previous two, but the music is a very mellow, ambient sound. So it keeps you kind of placated as you're as you're getting frustrated trying to figure out these puzzles. I like it, it's just mellow, uh, ambient sound, and the only sound effects are when you click on the panels. And when you click on a blue panel, it gives you a really light ping, um, and it kind of goes with the music. So everything about something that could be frustrating with Logic um, is actually kind of enjoyable and relaxing because the music and the sound effects are, are excellent. The visuals in this game are pretty neat as well. There's um, just this white background. Everything's crisp and clean. Um, and then you have the you know your two opposite colors, orange and blue. So it's very simplistic, but uh, it's a very simplistic game. So there's not much to talk about graphics, but it is is very well designed and looks nice and crisp and clean. Um, so that's an enjoyable part of this game. So my favorite feature in this game, other than having a billion puzzles that you can now solve, is the menu that allows you to leave the game and come back where you left off. Uh, previously, if you left the game, you were done. So if you are in a really tough puzzle that takes an hour or an hour and 15 minutes, you can now exit and come back and finish that puzzle and you don't lose everything that you worked for. So, uh, if you played the first two, pick up the third one. If you haven't played Hex Cells or Hex Cells Plus, I would recommend just buying Hex Cells Infinite because the first playthrough of the 36 levels will be uh, fun and enjoyable. And if you still enjoy this style of play, you have a billion other puzzles that you can go through, which I think will last you quite a long time. So, I thoroughly enjoyed all of the Hex Cells. I really enjoyed Hexels Infinite. If you're into logic puzzles, definitely pick up this game.